you're completely isolating the lats. Remember, it's a single joint movement. Compound movements mean we're using, utilizing two joints for getting action. Here, it's only the shoulder joint that's opening and closing. I developed habits lately I've been trying to break And them battles in my mind they still keep me up late So I see you sleeping on me when you should have been awake Hope you die in your sleep I'll start a fire at your wake I'ma see this through and I don't care how long it takes Now everything changed when I decided that I wasn't gonna wait Feel the pain as I write this shit Type of shit to make you do some type of shit To land you up on Rikers quick don't What's going on YouTube? You're back with the Prez Out here in Juniper Park today And today I'm gonna be bringing you the three best pull exercises you're not doing Listen guys, remember I've said this numerous times. If you guys want to build a strong and aesthetic back, you got to focus on vertical and horizontal movements. Now people think all you got to do is pull-ups and bodyweight rows, right? There's a lot more and better exercises that you guys can be utilizing to save yourself from uh, risking injuries and as well as building muscles that you won't get doing those two exercises. So these are the top three pulling exercises you're not doing. All right guys, so the first exercise you guys are not doing is a pull-up variation. This is gonna be a wide grip neutral pull-up. Everybody you see doing pull-ups, neutral grip usually goes in a narrow grip, right? You guys wanna work on that wide V taper of a back, you guys gotta go a little wider, right? If you're doing pull-ups on the bar, you're not doing pull-ups neutral grip, right? You're doing them with outside shoulder width grip, right? So we're gonna mimic that in a neutral grip. And remember, doing neutral grip pulls, it's gonna be safer for the elbow, and it's gonna build up the brachioradialis muscle which tends to get weak when only doing pronated grip pull-ups, right? It doesn't get as much activation as it could be in a neutral grip. Mimicking almost similar to like hammer curls with a dumbbell, right? Working that whole outer part of the arm, which is only going to strengthen your overall pull strength. So, exercise number one is a wide grip, neutral grip pull-up. Like always, guys, dead hang, retract the scapula, pull. All right, guys, and if you're not ready to do regular body weight neutral grip pull-ups, listen, I've told you many times before, utilize bands. Get a band, wrap it in your feet, jump on the bar, and get your reps in. That's the first exercise that you're not doing on your back day. All right, guys, so the second exercise that you're not doing that you need to start practicing is going to be a front lever pull variation, right? This is going to mimic a straight arm lat pull down. This is going to be really, really critical for building those, again, wider lats, and you guys are going to really feel almost complete lat activation. This is almost going to be a single joint movement. Remember, if you're in the gym and you're doing a straight arm lat pull down, that's considered a lat isolation movement, right? There's not many isolation movements you could do in calisthenics, so you guys could work up to moving up to this level of a front lever pull. It's gonna look like this. Again, guys, you wanna be on a straight bar here. Everything stays straight. We're not bending the arms. All we're doing, open shoulders, closed shoulders. And what we're doing is, remember, it's mimicking a lat pull down. So what are we doing? We're imagining that we're pulling that bar down Keeping the core engaged, raising our body. It's gonna be really great for isolating the lats and totally strengthening the scapula. Now, if you guys can't do those front lever pull variations, a regression that you guys gotta practice is just a straight scapula pull, right? So it's gonna look just like this. Again, we're gonna start, complete lockout, and all we're gonna do, shrug our shoulders down and back. Over time, you're gonna be able to pull yourself further and further back, right? Without any lower body engagement. And then over time, once you get really strong in the scap, then you start incorporating the raises. Again, guys, everything's a progression. So it's the second pull exercise you're not doing that you gotta start incorporating on your back day. All right, guys, the third exercise you guys gotta start incorporating on your back day is a row variation. This is gonna take you back to a neutral grip. Now, again, guys, the difference between this row and a regular row is going to be more advanced. We're going to be doing a decline row. It's going to place a lot more gravity, meaning resistance, on our upper back. Our whole upper back area is going to get a lot more targeted as opposed to the regression, which I'm going to show you next. So, again, guys, you guys can utilize different grips here. You guys can go narrow, wide, whatever is more comfortable. I prefer to go wide, again, to focus more on that width and thickness of the back. And this is going to be a horizontal movement, which, again, is going to focus more on the thickness here as opposed to the width in the, in the lats. So guys, here, and you guys can see how I'm on a decline. My chest is lower than my feet, 
meaning the whole upper chest is taking the gravity on, meaning all my upper back is taking on the majority of the workload. And guys, if that's too easy, you're going to start with the easier regression. Regular feet on the floor rows, guys. You guys are gonna see the different placement of the body, right? Before, my chest was lower than my feet. Now my chest is higher than my feet, right? There's an easier movement right now. And again, guys, what you guys can do in between, you guys, if you have access to a dip bar like this, you guys can start, then you can start elevating your feet like this to have you now almost horizontal with each other, how your feet and your chest are almost parallel. Then you can start rowing. And then once you get strong there, then you can elevate your feet to a higher level. So, those are the three back exercises that you guys got to start incorporating on your pull workouts, right? Remember, we got neutral grip, wide pull-ups. If you can't do them body weight yet, use a band to build up strength until you get the body weight reps. The second exercise is a front lever body weight raise, right? We're going from an open shoulder to a closed shoulder, completely isolating the lats. Remember, it's a single joint movement. Compound movements mean we're using, utilizing two joints for getting action. Here, it's only the shoulder joint that's opening and closing. Really, again, focusing on straight lat isolation. And the third exercise is an advanced decline body weight row, where you're placing more stress and more resistance on the upper back. And if you can't do that, you guys can drop down to a regular body weight row where your feet are on the floor and your chest is higher. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these exercises. Try them out on your pull day. You guys are going to start seeing gains happen. It's going to translate over to your regular pull-ups because you're just going to be strengthening up all your pull, uh, pull muscles. So, like always, guys, like the video. It helps the algorithm out on YouTube. Share it with your friends and your family. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And then again, tell your friends and your family to subscribe. And like always, peace out. Bar Naturals. They all love to talk. You know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.